They know what they're doing here, the doctors. They're good, they're great. And Seb, he's... He's young. He can run dead fast. He'll run faster than me. And I know that's not hard, but, you know, he's, um, he's fit and healthy. He always has been. And the doctor said, didn't she? She said he had a strong heart. I thought him out, God. I was thinking, um... I was thinking of uh, doing an online shop, you know, for when he's out. Because he can live with us, can't he? And I'll, I'll look after him, probably do his edit. But I was thinking of doing um, his favourite. Um... Oh, uh, do, do you know, uh, Kev, don't talk to me in that tone, all right? I know he's not coming out tomorrow. But, you know, when he does, I was thinking of doing um, some pesto pasta with a load of garlic bread. And that dip he likes. What is it that? What is he like? Cheese and chive. That's, that's the one. Do you want some water? Water? What? No. Why would I want water? Yeah, uh, yeah, please. Thanks. I was here, I was here responding. Would you like to sit down? No, I'd like you to get on with it so I can see my son. Sebastian failed the brain stem tests. His brain is no longer sending messages to his body. We were increasing the amount of organ support for Seb, but I'm afraid it wasn't working. His body has shut down. There was nothing more we can do, and his heart has stopped. But you, you, you can get it going. You can get it going again. I'm afraid not. I'm so very sorry. Oh, he has died. No, no. <laughs> Wait, Kev. I'm, uh, so sorry. I'm sorry I didn't protect you, sir. 